Hello guys, Luna here and welcome to this God of War Ragnarok guide and in this one we are looking at how to get one of the game's best early armors. The secret Ludna armor that needs to be found and restored to its former glory. To start this you need to reach the end of the mission number 6, The Reckoning, and you reach Freya's camp, where at the blacksmith you can speak with Lunda to begin her favour, which is a quest to find an orb. But along the way in this mission we will discover her secret armour parts and restore them. So from the start of the mission we're actually going to continue heading towards the gate where Freya wants you to go to complete this area and continue on. But instead of heading inside the gate we're going to jump back into the boat and travel east to a secret area called Noah Tun's Garden. Follow exactly where I go and once you land, defeat all of the enemies here and once that's done you can interact with the rune on the wall and get the red chest which has the first armour piece. Oh, glad to see that still worked. An armour piece bearing wound just brand. From here, head south until you arrive at the cliffside ruins. Defeat the enemies in the area and then climb up the wall on the left, and inside the room on the left is another red chest with Lunda's bracers. Exit this room and jump across the platforms. You will see some thorns that can be destroyed with Freya and Kratos' ability to drop a chain. After it falls, climb the chain to reach a new area where you can carve another ruin to access a new secret area. So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The rune is word appeared over there. See it? We should be able to reach the wedding site. So head back to your boat and head to the new area called Goddess Falls. Once you arrive here though, do not land at this beach here, instead continue along the river a little bit and into a secret cave. Land here and the final chest is located with the cuirass inside.
more Sather markings. We're definitely getting closer. Look what they've done to this place. Like we've got all of Lunda's armor. Perhaps we should return. Head to the other landing area in the cave. You will find the orb to complete this favor. And you can then continue on the cave all the way to the end. And you will return to the camp with Lunda in it at the end of the cave. Just, you ever have those moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions? Journey through time Lunda's is fortunate. Orb. Be cautious. So give her her item she wants and you can now craft the full armor set for free. The chest armor has a unique effect called Veneer's Poison. Barehanded attacks, parrying and blocking have a high chance to deal bonus damage and poison enemies and lowering their power level. But the wrist armor and the waist armor deal extra damage to poison enemies, so it's a nice combo of effects for dealing damage with the armor set. Its stats are very good as well and better than any armor you can get at this point in the game, so it's definitely worth picking this up as soon as you can at the end of mission number 6. Guys, that's it for this unique armor guide, how to get Lunda's secret armor set in God of War Ragnarok, one of the best early armors to get in-game. Like and subscribe for more God of War videos, and I will catch you next time.